Hi, and welcome to this video series about the very place we live, our home, the universe. Today, we will talk about the birth of the universe, the Big Bang. The Big Bang occurred 13.8 billion years ago. It came from a dot tinier than a period at the end of a sentence, and then it became so hot that it exploded into all the matter you see today. But it was not an explosion like you might have imagined or seen on TV. Remember, there was no space or time for it to expand into. Space was created at that moment. There was no boundary between outside and the edge of the expansion. It wasn't big, colorful, glamorous, or fantastic. It was just a dot expanding into the universe. And sadly, there was no bang because there was no space for sound to travel through. As soon as it expanded, four main forces formed. Gravity, binding bulk matter, weak force controlling radioactive decay, strong force binding atomic nuclei, and electromagnetic force binding molecules. A trillionth of a second after the Big Bang, there were two particles at that time, quarks and leptons. Quarks were never alone, they always had another quark nearby, while leptons never had a pair, they rejected everyone in sight. In the universe, there were little wave packets of light called photons, these photons were unstable as they kept converting into matter-antimatter particles. Antimatter is opposite from its matter particle, mostly in terms of charge like a negative, minus, neutral, nothing, and positive, a plus charge. A millionth of a second after the Big Bang, quarks grabbed their dance partners and formed protons and neutrons. One second after the Big Bang, the universe was still hot enough to cook electrons and their antimatter friends called positrons. They would merge and destroy each other, but some electrons remained to help form today's matter. Protons and neutrons began to combine to create the atomic nuclei. Two minutes after the Big Bang, the atomic nuclei and electrons fused to form atoms, the base for all matter. 380,000 years after the Big Bang, gravity clumped rock and dust to form stars and clustering stars to form galaxies. Nine billion years after the Big Bang, our solar system formed around our newborn Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Sorry, uh, not Pluto. It has been classified as a dwarf planet in 2006. Sorry, Pluto, but you didn't make it on the list. More than nine billion years after the Big Bang, life on Earth formed. Bacteria, which is all around you, in your body, and everything you touch has it on its surface. Multi-celled organisms from animals, fish, and plants. And single-celled organisms that only focus on eating, moving, and spreading. You're probably thinking right now, Emma, is this real, or are scientists hypothetically thinking it is real? Well, the good news is, it is real. Scientists have proof of radiation and heat still expanding outwards from the Big Bang, so we have some evidence it is real. But scientists still don't understand the Big Bang completely, but perhaps not for long. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!